Arizona Airports, connecting, moving, and supporting our state. From Arizona's major cities to its mountains, deserts, and world-renowned tourist destinations, Arizona's airports provide important connections. Arizona is served by a diverse system of commercial and non-commercial airports. It also supports several major aviation military installations. Airports contributing to Arizona's connectivity range from Phoenix Sky Harbor International, serving 40 million passengers annually, and Phoenix Deer Valley, one of the busiest non-commercial airports in the U.S., to a system of non-commercial airports that have more than 3 million annual flight operations. These flight operations provide critical business, emergency, and medical services and tourism to all of Arizona. Arizona's system of commercial and non-commercial airports is geographically well distributed, providing connections to almost every part of the state. In all, Arizona has 12 commercial airports and 71 non-commercial airports that are part of the state airport system. In addition to these system airports, Arizona has more than 100 privately owned airfields and numerous active military aviation installations. Arizona's airports move people and goods. Annually, an estimated 45 million passengers use Arizona's commercial service airports to travel on one of the 30 airlines serving the state. Arizona's airports serve a total of nearly 5 million annual aircraft operations. The state's airports are used to move passengers to and from destinations throughout the U.S. and around the world. Airport access is critical to Arizona's economy. Here at our facility in, in Mesa, we're, we're very focused on our customer and very focused on, on what it is we really do here. And we're really here to take and support uh, our military. The Apache helicopter and a lot of the other aviation systems that we, that we produce here in Mesa uh, go directly from uh, our facility here once, once the work is completed and goes directly into the hands of the warfighter and is, is in a combat theater of operations. Having the access to different aviation facilities and different airports uh, is critical to us being able to uh, accomplish our mission. Airports throughout Arizona help to add to the state's quality of life by supporting a wide variety of recreational, health, welfare, and safety-related services. Airports often support critical firefighting activities. Airports support search and rescue missions. Airports are used to transport patients. Airports enable doctors to hold clinics in areas of the state where medical facilities are restricted. Airports support news and traffic reporting. Over all the years of watching the freeway system expand, commuting uh, has become ever more important on a regular basis and live traffic reporting and being able to observe from the aircraft uh, makes all the difference in the world and improves ride times for commuters uh, valley-wide without a doubt. And being able to point out what kind of emergencies might lie ahead, what kind of detours or alternate routes might help out, it proves to be rather critical for a lot of people in this valley. In any rural city, the airport is a vital link, uh, not only for business, but also for air ambulance operations. Uh, the communities who are on the outskirts of the uh, far away and on the outskirts of the, of the large cities uh, rely quite a bit on air ambulance operations in order to get their emergencies tended to in a quick amount of time. Very important to rural communities that their airports be functional. In addition, airports in Arizona support a wide variety of flight training opportunities, including military training, commercial pilot training for airlines throughout the U.S. and around the world, as well as general and recreational pilot training. To ensure that airports throughout Arizona continue to effectively serve Arizona's businesses, residents, and visitors, the Arizona Department of Transportation undertook the State Airport System Plan, or SASP. This video highlights key aspects of the approach used to identify a long-term, comprehensive development strategy for the Arizona airport system. Establishing goals and objectives is important to setting a future course for the airport system and for assessing its current performance. Members of a project advisory committee helped identify current issues facing the system and translate those issues into goals and objectives to guide the system's future performance. Given the importance of airports and aviation to employers throughout Arizona, over 2,000 businesses and 4,000 pilots in Arizona were contacted to secure input on airport issues and needs and related system goals. Goals established to direct the Arizona airport system include providing an airport system that is maintained to meet current and projected demand and is easily accessible from both the ground and the air. 
advance a system of airports that supports Arizona's economy, ensuring the airport system is matched to Arizona's socioeconomic and demographic characteristics. Provide a safe airport system as measured by compliance with safety and security standards. Provide an airport system that supports health, welfare, and safety-related services and activities. Comparing current and future demand to existing system facilities helps to determine the ability to accommodate various demand components. As part of the system plan, projections of commercial airline, air cargo, and general aviation demand were developed. Demand estimates developed in this study show annual commercial airline passengers, including air tour passengers, growing from a current level of 45 million to 82 million passengers by the year 2030. Air cargo tonnage accommodated by airports in Arizona is expected to increase from a current level of 170,000 annual tons to 320,000 annual tons by 2030. All airports in Arizona support a wide variety of general aviation activities. General aviation aircraft range from large corporate jets to small specialized aircraft such as those used for agricultural spraying. Based general aviation aircraft for all system airports are projected to grow from their current level of 8,000 to nearly 12,000 by 2030. Before recommendations for Arizona's airport system could be developed, an assessment of current system performance was needed. To assess current system performance, two important steps were necessary. First, system airports were assigned to roles. These roles reflect each airport's current contribution to meeting aviation demand and various transportation and economic related measures. Airports were assigned to one of the following roles, commercial service, reliever, general aviation community, general aviation rural, and general aviation basic. An airport's role may change over time as conditions warrant. The future system's performance was determined by examining each airport's ability to meet specific goals, as well as how the statewide system could be enhanced for overall system improvement. To ensure that Arizona is served by a system of airports that can meet system goals, the following factors were assessed to determine where development projects were needed to increase future performance. Promoting a system that enhances safety. Providing a system that has ample capacity to meet future demand. Ensuring a system that is not constrained by non-compatible development. Matching system resources to system investment. Developing a system that maximizes revenue at every airport. Tailoring the system to meet emerging technologies, such as very light jets, new large commercial aircraft, and FAA's next generation airspace advancements. Capitalizing on the system's economic impact. This study revealed that enhancements are necessary to meet future demand and to improve system performance. To improve performance to meet long-term transportation and economic goals, airports are encouraged to fulfill their role in the overall statewide system by providing relevant facilities and services to meet the needs of the users. Airports meeting the roles in the system is only one step that will be needed to ensure Arizona is served by airports that will support and lead the state's future growth and development. The recommended plan contains elements related to each of the following. Costs, implementation actions, priorities, and economic support. Over the next 20 years, an estimated $10 billion will be needed to maintain, enhance, and provide new airport facilities in Arizona. Improvements to airside and landside facilities, to resolve system deficiencies, and to satisfy future system demand are needed. This study identifies many actions needed to ensure that Arizona has a system of airports to meet its needs. Most of those actions rest with individual airport sponsors and owners. It is imperative that as airports update their individual master plans and airport layout plans, they consider the findings and recommendations of this study. Action items identified by this plan must be implemented from the bottom up by individual airports throughout the state. There are, however, other key actions identified by this study that can be pursued by ADOT to enhance the airport system's performance. These include continued updating of pavement management plans to provide maintenance needs, initiate runway approach obstruction study to ensure continued safety for aircraft operations, update economic impact studies to assess aviation's impact on Arizona's economy, 
airport operational capacity, and airspace capacity studies to address congestion issues in major metropolitan areas. Some actions identified in this system plan are more critical than others. Establishing priorities for study recommendations was accomplished by reviewing ADOT's current priority rating model and providing a list of items for ADOT's evaluation. Some of the most important priorities for Arizona's airports are safety, ensuring airports continued safety improvements, security, assisting airports to satisfy federal security guidelines, capacity, working with airports to enhance capacity, economic development, supporting Arizona's airports as they positively impact state and local economies. Arizona's airports support over 470,000 jobs that have an annual payroll estimated at $14.7 billion. Total annual economic activity or output associated with Arizona's airports is estimated at $38.5 billion. An annual investment of $486 million in federal, state, and local funds for improvements to a system that generates $38.5 billion in annual economic benefit is an incredible value. The State Aviation System Plan allows ADOT to monitor the performance of the aviation system and maximize its funding needs. There is a tremendous demand on the movement of goods and people within the state, across the nation, and worldwide. The State Airport System Plan ensures Arizona has a system of airports to meet its future needs.